Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Gizo Celidze. I'm representing the uh, Ministry of Environment of Georgia, uh, International Relations and EU Integration Division Department. And from other side, I'm also representing uh, several Georgian universities, Tbilisi State University, International Black sea University. I'm delivering international relations lectures at those universities. Uh, I think the forum we are attending now is quite interesting and uh, it is quite challenging and I think it's, it could be quite fruitful because uh, such kind of conferences create good and solid basement for shaping public policy, international policy, foreign policy of different stakeholders and states involved in the uh, uh, international relations. Uh, our session is called Hybrid War and Propaganda and our moderator uh, said that I was going in the beginning to be part of next session uh, regarding ISIS, but I decided to talk about ISIS in my a small speech today and I would like to more generalize talk about the hybrid war and the propaganda. Uh, I will uh, uh, focus on four uh, topics. Uh, this will be one about Georgia and Georgia's part in the region. Uh, I would like to shortly say some few my opinions about uh, actually itself the region, uh, Black Sea region. Uh, I would like to talk about the hybrid war and the propaganda. Uh, my colleagues, previous colleagues, uh, talk about lots of, uh, uh, reviewed lots of issues here and uh, what should be done to avoid uh, threats and what should be done from different perspectives, uh, the threats that we, fa that we face today. I would like to say uh, a few words about what not to be done, what we should not do. Uh, and uh, what are the mistakes we are uh, making uh, in our way when we are uh, in, in fighting against terrorism, against um, uh, we are involved in a hybrid war. Uh, as my previous uh, presenter said, the hybrid war is a unique uh, war that is taking place at the moment. Uh, and it is very hard war to, uh, because we don't have one battlefield, we have lots of battlefields. We have multiple threats. We never know when and where uh, threat will appear and what kind of threat it will be. We are not sometimes prepared for these threats and we, we have seen uh, the negative effects of these terrorist acts in Europe just uh, several months ago. So uh, the problem is quite clear, quite obvious, uh, just uh, in front of us. And uh, I think uh, Georgia, being the small country, still has its role in this uh, uh, war and still it is also threatened, much threatened by this war because Georgia is a crossroad uh, of Europe and Asia. Georgia has a neighbor, northern neighbor, Russia, and we were in quite uh, an unexpected war with Russia in 2008. Georgia is near to Middle East. Georgia is not safe from terrorism because uh, Georgia is close partner of NATO uh, and Georgia several times and in many times participated in the NATO peacekeeping operations in the different hotspots and we uh, lots of times heard from terrorist organizations maybe Georgia will become a victim of terrorist acts. So we are not out of the big game, we are in and we are in a hot place of the big game. Uh, uh, actually, uh, the problem is that we are uh, we're threatening, we are, uh, we are facing threats, but we are not at the moment members of NATO. We, we don't have this kind of protection. Uh, actually, uh, I would like to joke uh, that uh, in Georgia we are not members of NATO, but in Georgia we have lots of NATOs inside, because NATO is a female name of Georgia, in Georgia, and uh, uh, we call NATO, and in our families we have lots of NATOs, and uh, we are strong in this regard, but we are not members of the uh, uh, North Atlantic Alliance, and we don't have this kind of protection that creates too much problem in Georgia when we're facing different um, uh, conflictual situations and confrontations. Uh, now about region. Region is also problematic. Uh, uh, in the previous session, uh, uh, the Vice President of the European Parliament mentioned uh, mm, a Black Sea Synergy approach from the European Union. Black Sea Synergy, European and the lack of the strategy. And he said that uh, uh, Black Sea region needs a strategy political strategy, I think. But it's very problematic to have the political strategy, and why? Uh, because the uh, region is 
uh, mostly geographic region, rather political region, because it's quite diverse. Uh, I hardly imagine to have one political strategy between Georgia, Ukraine, and uh, Russia, because these are the uh, Black Sea countries, but how common political, joint political uh, strategy can, uh, can be achieved among these countries because we are involved in, uh, Ukraine is involved in war, Georgia was involved in war, but we are in a uh, hot spot at the moment because war ended in 2008, but still we have conflictual situation um, with our neighbors. Uh, so uh, Georgia is in this um, problematic uh, ge geostrategic uh, territory. Um, and we also care about uh, general approaches to the threats and shortly in the second part of my presentation I would like to talk about the terrorism and lots of is done against terrorism but much more have to be done and uh, as I said I would like to say what uh, what are the mistakes we are making first of all uh, this is uh, uneven approach to the terrorism because the problem is identified terrorism is our problem but world powers that can defeat terrorism are not together and they are diverse decentralized uh, the clear uh, example of this is Syria and uh, Syria war where different states world powers are involved in the problem for example they're fighting against ISIS but they are not together for example USA and Russia both uh, fight against ISIS but they are not together and they have different approaches with Assad regime they have approaches different approaches with ISIS the problem is one but approaches are different uh, and this weakens this our side and this uh, makes stronger the terrorism side Another issue, how we call the terrorists, how we identify the terrorists. Uh, I'm actually observing the uh, USA uh, uh, elections and the uh, speeches of the candidates, how they react to these ongoing issues. I heard from uh, one candidate, Rubio, uh, that this is a clash of civilization and either we will win or either they will win. We heard from Donald Trump that we, are, we have fight with Muslim world, we have Islamic world. And I think this is the biggest mistake that we are, and I don't think it is no problem of USA, other in several European states, we heard so, these kind of statements. This is a big problem, because if we call the criminal organization to be representative of whole Islamic world, if we call this terrorist organization to be civilization, it is not Eastern civilization. We know what is Eastern civilization. It is much bigger than ISIS. It's much bigger than Al-Qaeda. And uh, we cannot say that we have fight and war with Muslims because to take example of Georgia in Georgia we have 20 percent of population Muslim population in uh, northern part of Georgia and neighboring territories with Turkey and I will tell you that some people from this George from Georgian territory some Georgians went to uh, Syria to fight and to become members of ISIS and they are fighting but they are some five or six people from Georgia from Muslim population. And we have much more population, but I don't think the rest population are also terrorists. These five people are criminals for us, not, uh, not like representing some kind of Eastern civilization or Muslim world. That is a problem because uh, making this kind of statements, we help USA, we help uh, terrorist organizations to have much uh, productive propaganda. Imagine the people living in a, in a poor uh, Middle East. We imagine people living in a situation when they uh, have nothing to lose. And this strong terrorist organization with strong financial resources go there and have quite strong propaganda saying that we represent Khalifat, Islamic State, that they call themselves to be Islamic State, not one uh, single some kind of, they call themselves to be something big and creating something big. And in this regard, if we call them that they are Islamic State and they are Khalifat, they become much more stronger because they uh, recruit new followers and these new followers think that they do not think that they are becoming terrorists they think that they represent Islamic world they represent Muslim world and they defend the, this all their own big Islamic state so I think this is the big mistake if we uh, do not be concrete when uh, de defining the threats because our threat is a criminal a terrorist organizations which are not much big and I, I would like to uh, join the efforts of the big players in the world not to make them stronger by our mistakes. This was my short presentation. Thank you for uh, listening.